Good morning to all. Welcome to Karnataka LMS e-content. I am Nagaveni Inwi, Assistant Professor of English, the Department of Collegiate and Technical Education. In today's class, I am going to explain Chapter 9 from the novel The Return of the Native, written by Thomas Hardy, prescribed by the University of Mysore, to the second year BA optional English CBCS for semester course 2020-21. The title of the paper is Victorian Fiction. Chapter 9. The title of this chapter is Love Leads a Shrewd Man into Strategy. Who is this shrewd man? And who, whom he is loving? Who is loving? Let us know. The riddle man. The riddle man is the shrewd man here. Is the, the riddle man of the old school are seldom seen then on the Hegdanit. With the introduction of railways, Wessex farmers have managed to do without them. Riddle man and re, our kurigalige, bannawanawa. Martha Kantava Vapari As under Badali Railways Adunikate Kali Tidrinda Wessex farmers are riddle man Mele Aulamba Nekar Vemadidru. They have man learned to manage without the drill man. And the bright pigment so largely used by the shepherds in preparing sheep for the fairies obtained by other roots. So they began to obtain the pigment by other roots, not by the riddle man. A child's first sight of a riddle man is an epoch in his life. If a child looks at the riddle man though, for the first time, that will be an everlasting, frightening, nightmarish memory in his life. That blood-colored figure in a, in a sublimation of all horrid dreams which was afflicted in afflicted the juvenile spirit really that spirit of juvenile spirit spirit of that child will be afflicted which is his figure which is sublimation of all horrid limbs dreams since imagination began the little man is coming for you has been the formulated threat of Wessex mothers for many generations the mothers of Wessex. They used to threat their children by this word, the riddle mass man is coming for you. Namalil to Lago Gaya, Bartanego Gaya, and Tata in the Dristar La Maklige, Hage, our Wessex mother, so Alina Maklige, riddle man is coming for you, and they they used to threat them, frighten them. Now their place is filled by modern inventions. Now they are replaced by the modern inventions. Little man lives like a gypsy. Now his position is reduced to the life of a gypsy, but he scorns gypsies. Though his position is reduced to the level of gypsies, he scorns gypsies. He is about as striving as traveling basket and mat makers. He is also like a tra travelers of those small uh, or uh, those. Uh, sellers of basket or mat makers, but he has nothing to do with them. He is more decently born and he is brought up than the cattle dovers who pass and repass him in, the, in his wanderings, but they merely nod to him. His talk is more valuable than that of peddlers, but they do not think so. So this little man, he is born and brought up in a very decent way than those cattle drovers who pass and repass and wish them and to whom he merely nods. His talk is more valuable than those peddlers but those peddlers do not think of him as a valuable man and they passes his cart with his eyes straight ahead. The little man is continually found among all these cutters and folks of the road yet he is not of them. Though he is continually 
seen among this group among these people among these sellers traders he is not of them his occupation tends to isolate him and he is mostly seen to be isolated his occupation is not the common one it is the isolated one and he is mostly seen to be isolated sometimes it is suggested that riddle men are criminals for whose misdeeds other men have wrongfully suffered these riddle men were considered as, are considered as criminals and because of their misdeeds other men are have wrongly suffered and to escape the law they have escaped their own consciences they escape the law they have become riddle men but to escape their consciences and they have taken this trade as a lifelong penance ivaru criminals ivaru tappinda bere shiksha galagirtare kanuninda tappuskondiddare adre manasakshinda tappuskolakagalvalla adakke avaru jeevana poorthi tamage idond shikshe ta madra tappige antheli ee ruttena aike maarkondiddare annodu allina kelavara nambike then why they should have chosen it hagadre adu ondu shikshe annodagidre alle shikshe anbavisodagittalla ಇದನ್ನೇ ಆಯ್ಕೆ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಬೇಕು ಆ ಸೆಪನನ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ವುಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಬೀನ್ ಪಟ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ಲಿ ಅಪೋಸಿಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಈ ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬಹಳ ಮುಖ್ಯ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ಲಿ ಅಪೋಸಿಟ್ ಅಪೋಸಿಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸಮಂಜಸ ಯುಕ್ತವಾಗಿದೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾಕೆ ಹಿ ರೀಸ್ ಎ ರೆಡಲ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ವೆನ್ ಡಿಗರಿ ಡಿಗರಿ ವೆನ್ ದ ಒನ್ ಫರ್ಬೆಡಿಂಗ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ರೆಡಲ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಲರ್ ರೆಡಲ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಕೆನ್ ಬಿ ಅಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟಬಲ್ ಇನ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ವೇಸ್ ಬಟ್ in in one forbidding thing that is his color except that he has been an agreeable specimen of rustic manhood as one would often see a banna anad bitre na maamuli ella noduvanta gramina pradeshada vyaktigal anta riddle man kuda idane a keen observer might have been inclined to think partly the truth that he has relinquished his proper station in life for want of interest in it good nature and an extreme craftless acuteness can be guessed as his character the riddle man this riddle man degree when he is a man of good nature and an extreme craftless acuteness can be guessed as his character his face has become rigid with the thought and it is followed by the softer expression and the again sad then again sadness as he is darning his socks his face has become rigid and again it becomes soft with feelings again with sadness again he becomes rigid and he takes out an old and rusty red stain letter with a signature of masin eobright vandu kempu bannada kale da hale letter tagitane adralli signature yar sahi yar dirutte Thomas in Sahi in sign was there which was written to him two years previous it was written to him two years ago Thomas in had stated reasons for not being able to marry him otherly Thomas in on an amadwe agadik ke karna galo irta kanta karna galo ye no agade ro da ke another na til seed lo she had painfully expressed that she liked him very much she had like for him she liked him very much and she always put him next to her cousin slim in her mind his proposal to her was so unexpected that she did not expect it from him because she had never thought of him in the sense of a lover at all the great personal reason was that she did not feel what a woman had to feel when she consents a man to walk with her and uh, as his wife another reason was her aunt the first reason for rejection is that she likes him she she gives him a place next to her cousin klim in her heart alurudayadalli klim bitre nimundina jaga ee riddle man gene athanna aake ishta padtale adre but not as a lover on the day nadadvaga ತನ್ನನ್ನು ಮದುವೆ ಆಗಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಅನುಮತಿ ನೀಡಿರುವಂಥ ಒಬ್ಬ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿಯ ಜೊತೆ ಅವನ ಹೆಂಡತಿಯಾಗಿ ಆಗೋಳು ಅನ್ನೋ ಭಾವನೆಯಿಂದ ನಡೆಯುವ ಆ ಭಾವನೆ ಅವಳಿಗೆ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ಇದು ಒಂದು ಕಾರಣ 
ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಅವರ ಆಂಟ್ ಶಿ ಮೇ ಅಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಹರ್ ಆಂಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಲೈಕ್ಸ್ ಡಿಗರ್ ಇವೆನ್ ಬಟ್ ಶಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಅಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಷನ್ ಆಸ್ ಎ ಡೈರಿ ಫಾರ್ಮರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿ ಲುಕ್ಸ್ ಶಿ ವುಡ್ ವಾಂಟ್ ಹರ್ ಟು ಲುಕ್ ಎ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಹೈಯರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಎ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಡೈರಿ ಫಾರ್ಮರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾರಿ ಎ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಷನಲ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಹರ್ ವಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಹರ್ ಆಂಟ್ ವಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಹರ್ ಟು ಮ್ಯಾರಿ ಎ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಷನಲ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ರ್ಯಾದರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಎ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಡೈರಿ ಡೈರಿ ಫಾರ್ಮರ್ ಶಿ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇಮ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟು ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ಸೀ ಹರ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ದಯವಿಟ್ಟು ಮತ್ತೆ ನನ್ನ ಭೇಟಿ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಪ್ರಯತ್ನ ಪಡಬೇಡ ಶಿ ವುಡ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಆಸ್ ಎ ಗುಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ನಾನು ನಿನ್ನ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಯಾವಾಗಲೂ ಒಳ್ಳೆಯನು ಅನ್ನೋ ಭಾವನೆ ಇಟ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬಿ ಆಂಕ್ಷಿಯಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವುಡ್ ರಿಮೇನ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಫೇತ್ಫುಲ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಆಂಕ್ಷಿಯಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯುವರ್ ವೆಲ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಐ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುವರ್ ವೆಲ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ರಿಮೇನ್ ಎ ಲೈಫ್ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಫೇತ್ಫುಲ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ ಟು ಯು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಶಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಸೈನ್ ಹರ್ ಲೆಟರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿ ಗೋಸ್ ಟು ದ ಲೆಟರ್ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ದ ಅರೈವಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಲೆಟರ್ ಆನ್ ಎ ಸರ್ಟನ್ ಅವ ಆಟಮ್ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಎಗೋ ದ ರಿಡಲ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಇನ್ ಥಮಾಸ್ ಇನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಮೆಟ್ ಟಿಲ್ ದಟ್ ಡೇ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ದ ಇಂಟರ್ವಲ್ ಹಿ ಅಡಾಪ್ಟೆಡ್ ದ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ರಿಡಲ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಆ ಪತ್ರ ಬಂದ ದಿನದಿಂದ ಇಲ್ಲಿವರೆಗೆ ಆಕೆಯನ್ನು ಭೇಟಿ ಮಾಡಲಿಲ್ಲ ಇವತ್ತೇ ಭೇಟಿ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದು ಅದಾದ ನಂತರ ಹಿ ಅಡಾಪ್ಟೆಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ರೆಡಲ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಕಮ್ ಡೌನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವೇ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಕಮ್ ಡೌನ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಸ್ ಲವ್ ಫಾರ್ ಹರ್ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ಎ ಡೈರಿ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಈಸ್ ರೆಡಲ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ದಿಸ್ ರೆಡ್ ರೆಡಲ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಈಸ್ ಲೋಯರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ದ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಡೈರಿ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ರಿಯಲಿ ಇನ್ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ಸರ್ಕಮ್ಸ್ಟಾನ್ಸಸ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ still he is in a very good circumstances his expenditure is was only one fourth of his income and he might have been called a prosperous man i could reject his suitors take roaming take to roaming as naturally as unhived bees ee reeti tamma priyatamerinda nirlak tiraskarake olagadanta premigalu en maartare they roam they take to roaming like unhived bees and the business to which he had cynically devoted himself was in many ways congenial to when on i purpose ke avlo pilla and i know i love her so i want to see her i want to follow her and this profession of riddleman so very much is very much suitable to his purpose of following his beloved but his wanderings by mere stress of old emotions had frequently taken an an egged in direction he had taken up this profession because this would uh, and uh, his purpose this wanderings by the stress of his old emotion for is uh, thomasin frequently have taken his direction towards egged in egged in though he never intruded upon her who attracted him thither but he never intruded in the life of the masin he observes all the ongoing ups and downs in the life of the masin from a distance he interferes only when she is in trouble in order to save her to be in the masin's heat and near her yet unseen he enjoys that sort of love that to be near uh, in tomasin's heat tomasin was aira ha dibbada bali irodu avulige hatra irodu avulige hatra iddukonde avulige kaanada hagene avulige sahaya madodu avanu ondre rite khushi kodutte was the one eve lamb of pleasure left to him i unquote the little man is excited by the incident of that day it has provided him an accidental opportunity to owe to an active devotion in a critical juncture to thomasin he has come to know from the boy that there is a love affair between eustace and wildy one this has excited him because it has provided him with an opportunity to show his active devotion to his beloved who is in a critical juncture of life now he has enough reason to doubt the honesty of wildy's intention in not marrying thomasin he regrets that thomasin's hope is apparently centered upon him while do apramanik anta gottaito adre he regrets thomasin's hope 
ಈಸ್ ಅಪಾರೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಸೆಂಟೆಡ್ ಅಪ್ ಆನ್ ಹಿಮ್ ತಮಾಸಿ ನಾವನ್ನೇ ಇಷ್ಟಪಡ್ತಿದ್ದಾಳೆ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಡಿಸ್ಮಿಸ್ ಅಸ್ ರೆಗ್ರೆಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡಿಟರ್ಮೈನ್ಸ್ ದ ಏಡರ್ ಇವನು ಬೇಜಾರಾದರೂ ಕೂಡ ಇಟ್ ಡಿಸ್ಮಿಸಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡಿಟರ್ಮೈನ್ಸ್ ದ ಏಡರ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಅರ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಇನ್ ಅರ್ ಓನ್ ಚೋಸನ್ ವೇ ಅವಳಿಗೆ ಹೇಗೆ ಇಷ್ಟ ಇದೆಯೋ ಹಾಗೆ ಅವಳು ಸಂತೋಷ ಆಗಿದ್ರೆ ಸಾಕು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಸಹಾಯ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಹಿ ಡಿಸೈಡ್ಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಲವ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅರ್ ಇಸ್ ಜನರಸ್ ದೆರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಸೆಲ್ಫಿಶ್ನೆಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಲವ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ವೆನ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಲವ್ ಫಾರ್ ಹರ್ ಇಸ್ ಜನರಸ್ ತುಂಬ ಧಾರಾಳವಾದಂಥ ಪ್ರೀತಿ ಆತಂದು ಸೊ ಹಿ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅರ್ ವೆಲ್ಫೇರ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಚಿಂಗ್ ಓವರ್ ತ ಮ್ಯಾಸಿನ್ಸ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬಿಗನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವೇ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಚಿಂಗ್ ಓವರ್ ತ ಮ್ಯಾಸಿನ್ಸ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬಿಗನ್ ಅಟ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಓ ಕ್ಲಾಕ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಈವ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಅದನ್ನು ಏಳು ಗಂಟೆಯಿಂದನೇ ತ ಮ್ಯಾಸಿನ್ ಅವಳ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಏನು ಆಸಕ್ತಿ ಏನು ಅಂತ ಆತ ಗಮನ ಸಕ್ಷಿದ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾನೆ ಹಿ ಕನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಬೇಸಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ನ್ಯೂಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬಾಯ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಸೀಕ್ರೆಟ್ ಮೀಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಸ್ಟೇಷಿಯಾ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೈಲ್ಡ್ ಲಿವ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ಟೇಷಿಯಾ ಈಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವೈಲ್ಡ್ ಲಿವ್ಸ್ ಕೇರ್ಲೆಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಇನ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ ಟು ದ ಮ್ಯಾರಿಯೇಜ್ ಆ ಹುಡುಗನ ಮಾಹಿತಿಯನ್ನು ಹುಡುಗಿಂದ ಮಾಹಿತಿ ತಿಳ್ಕೊಂಡ ಮೇಲೆ ಹಿ ಕಮ್ ಟು ದ ಕನ್ಕ್ಲೂಷನ್ ದಟ್ Eustachia is the reason of wild life's carelessness in relation to the marriage with Tomasin. His instinct regards her as a conspirator rather than an antecedent obstacle to Tomasin's happiness. Tomasin's happiness is not the only obstacle to the marriage of Eustachia. His instinct regards her as a conspirator, not as a rival or an obstacle, but a conspirator. All of us are true. ಕಾ ಗೋ ಕೋರಳು ಅಂತ ಅನ್ಸ್ಬಿಡುತ್ತೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿ ಸ್ಪೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಡೇ ವಿತ್ ಎಕ್ಸೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಗ್ಸೈಟಿ ಟು ಲರ್ನ್ ದ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಸಿನ್ ದ ಹೋಲ್ ಡೇ ಹಿ ವ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಸ್ ರೋಮ್ಸ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ದ ಹೌಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅದ ಹೀತ್ ಆಫ್ ಅರ್ ದ ಹಿಲ್ ವೇರ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಸಿನ್ಸ್ ಹೌಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಟು ನೋ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಸಿನ್ ಬಟ್ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೂಡ್ ಅಬ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಥ್ರೆಶೋಲ್ಟ್ which he is a stranger mane olag hogala because he is a stranger to that house they have never invited him into that house particularly at such a pleasant unpleasant moment that adrallo ee ond unpleasant moment alli hogu sari illa anta on mane olag hogala he has moved with his ponies and load to a new point in the heath he moves his ponies horses into a new point up on the heath eastward to his previous station here he selects a nook with a careful eye to shelter from wind and rain which seems to mean that his stay there to be is to be a comparatively extended one he secures a safer place from which shelters him from wind and rain that arrangement makes him want to know that he is going to stay there for a long while after this he returns on foot some part of the way and diverges to the left stands behind a holy bush on the edge of a pit not 20 yards from rain bar rain bar ovallege ond track l nadkondogi ond bush hatra ond jaga maarkoltare ond gundi ide ond edge pakka there is a bush and he makes himself a place to hide uh, stand and hide and uh, it is 20 yards from rain bar he watches for a meeting there but in vain the whole evening he stands there and watches for a meeting between east eustacia and wild but of no use they did not meet on that day they do not meet on that day nobody except himself has come near the spot that night but it has not produced any effect on him he is not disappointed in a way he is excited and inspired to continue his watching and next day also he went on the same spot at the same hour but no use but of no use and uh, the those expected tristes do not appear he pursues the same course for four nights longer but without success but he does not give up but on the next being the day week of their previous meeting he sees a female shape floating along the ridge and the outline of a young man ascending from the valley they meet in the little ditch encircling the tumulus the original excavation from which it had been thrown up by the ancient british people the little man instantly leaves the bush and creeps forward on his hand and knees and uh, and the next day they came and uh, they come and uh, meet 
near the pit uh, which has that feature of the the original excavation which had been thrown up by the ancient british people and the little man could not cannot hear them from the place where he is hiding so he creeps forward on his hands and knees and then goes close to them but he finds unable to hear their conversation now also again because of the wind and he uh, finds large toes near him he covers his head shoulders and back and legs with toes alle on the toes gida da on katris bisakido anta gida galu irutade toes adun tegedukondo talle bujja bennu kalella cover maadkondo he moves forward and uh, he is quite invisible and he looks like the uh, plant of toes and uh, they cannot see him he hears now estasia's voice clearly telling valdu that it is an indignity to consult her about his marriage with tomasin you are insulting me you have you love me and you have come to me only to no to get suggestions to get married tomasin but you love me because she loves him it is better for him to marry tomasin you love me and you have come to consult me about you about your marriage with tomasin it's better to for you to marry tomasin because she is nearer to you in position in life than i am than she is tomasin ne madve agappa ninu nimma sthana managalu samanagide naniginta she is nearer to you in position than me but he tells her to see things as they are and tomasin's position is worse than her then yes i love you but you think from the point of view of tomasin you take things as they are her position is worse than yours because i had taken her to the marriage and the marriage is broken nobody will get her marry now she scolds him for not valuing her love and tomasin deserves to suffer for winning him away from her estasia says yes you have no value for my love and tomasin deserves this punishment because she has taken you from me taken you away from me she will never forgive him for deserting her he tries to convince her that she has not deserted her nanna kai bittiyalla nan bittu hog bittiyalla nan yavattu ninge kshamsala adikke avan heltane nanu i have not i have not deserted you she asks him to show his love or else go nan elli nanu de bittidini bittilla nanu then you show me your love otherwise you go he says that tomasin is a worthy person to enjoy by being faithful to estasia yes i i have not deserted you i love you but i love her also she is worthier than you worthy person to injure to be faithful being faithful to estasia alna madve agidini karkonu hogi bitpitidini iga nanu matte nin love maartidini howdu nan ninna mele ninge faithful agi rak hogi avulge injure marana antandre agalla because she is really a worthy person than you worthier than you but he is the sinner illi you are also worthy she is also worthy comparatively she is worthier because she is in a worse condition worser condition than you but i am the sinner na tappe illi paapi nane and not worth a little finger of either of them either of you nim ibru da one sanna kiru berillu gu nan samaya illa nande tappili istesha tells him the best way is to leave the masin if he has no love for her if you have no love for her tamasin you just leave her off tamasin bage preeti illa andre bitbido she asks him if it is not his love for estasia that has made him not to marry her nannel preeti iradike alva nee nolla madve agide bandirado isn't it that he tells her that the immediate reason was that the license would not do for the place no 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 not out of your love for me am i love for you but because of some irregularities in the license that marriage has been cancelled and before he could get another she ran away 
ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಲೈಸೆನ್ಸ್ ತೊಗೋಬೇಕು ಅನ್ನೋಷ್ಟೊತ್ತಿಗೆ ಅವಳು ಅವಮಾನ ಆಗಿ ಓಡೋಗ್ಬಿಟ್ಲು ಮನೆಗೆ ಮ ಓಡ್ ಬಂದ್ಲು ಅಪ್ ಟು ದಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಶ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಡೂ ವಿತ್ ಇಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿವರೆಗೆ ಆ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ವರೆಗೆ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಡೂ ವಿತ್ ಮೀ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅಫೇರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸಲೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಮ್ಯಾರೇಜ್ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ಅವರ್ ಆಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಸ್ಪೋಕನ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದ ದ ರೀಚ್ ಹೋಮ್ ದೇರ್ ಹರ್ ಆಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಸ್ಪೋಕನ್ ಸಮ್ ಇಲ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಶಿ ಇನ್ಸಲ್ಟೆಡ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಇನ್ ಎ ಟೋನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇ ಡಿಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಲೈಕ್ ನನಗೆ ಇಷ್ಟ ಆಗದಿರೋಂಥ ಧ್ವನಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಅವಳು ನನಗೆ ಡಿಗ್ರೇಡ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಮಾತಾಡಿದ್ಲು ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಮೈ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ಅರ್ ಅಪ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟು ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ಲವ್ ವಿತ್ ಯು ಇಷ್ಟೇ ಶಿ ಪ್ಯಾಷನೇಟ್ಲಿ ಸೇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಶಿ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಇಟ್ ಹಾಗಾದರೆ ಈ ಮದುವೆ ದಿಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸಲೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಮ್ಯಾರೇಜ್ ಆ ಮೈ ನಾಟ್ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ನಾನೇನು ಅಲ್ವ ಹಾಗಾದರೆ ಹಿ ರಿಮೈಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದಟ್ ದ ಡೇಸ್ ವೆನ್ ದ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ರೋಮ್ ಅಮಾಂಗ್ ದ ಹಿಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಹೀತ್ ನಾನೇನು ಅಲ್ವ ಹಾಗ ನಿನ್ನ ಜೀವನದಲ್ಲಿ ಅವನು ಆಗ ಹಿ ರಿಮೈಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಫ್ ದೋಸ್ ಡೇಸ್ ವೆನ್ ದ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ರೋಮ್ ಅಮಾಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಹಿಲ್ಸ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಶಿ ರಿಮೈಂಡ್ಸ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಹೌ ಶಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಲವ್ ಅಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಲುಕ್ಸ್ ಅಟ್ ಹರ್ ನಾನು ಹೆಂಗೆ ನೋಡಿ ನಗ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೆ ಅಲ್ವಾ ನಿಮ್ಮನ್ನ ನೋಡಿ ಬಟ್ ಶಿ ಹಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಹರ್ ಟು ಸಫರ್ ಹೌ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಐ ವಾಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಯು ಐ ಹೌ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಐ ಮೇಡ್ ಯು ಬಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಟು ಮೀ ಇನ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಮೀ ಟು ಸಫರ್ ಎ ಲಾಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಶಿ ಆಸ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಡು ಯು ಲವ್ ಮೀ ನೌ ಡು ಯು ಲವ್ ಮೀ ನೌ ನನ್ನ ಪ್ರೀತಿಸ್ತೀಯ ಹಿ ಮಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಯಸ್ಲಿ ಸೇಸ್ ತುಂಬ ತೊಂಟತನದಿಂದ ಹೇಳ್ತಾನೆ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಹಿ ಡಸಂಟ್ ಗಿವ್ ಎನಿ ಅಶೂರೆನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಹರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಹಿ ಹಸ್ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಹರ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಎ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಆಫ್ ಇನ್ಫಿಡೆಲಿಟಿ ಫಿಡೆಲಿಟಿ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎ ಮೆರಿಟ್ ಇನ್ ಮೀ ನನಗೆ ನಿಷ್ಠೆ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಇಲ್ಲಮ್ಮ ನಿಷ್ಠೆ ನನ್ನ ಗುಣ ಅಲ್ಲ ಐ ಡೂ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ಡು ನಾಟ್ ಐ ಲವ್ ಯು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ಡು ನಾಟ್ ಲವ್ ಯು ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಮೈ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೈ ಸೀಸನ್ಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಲವ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮೀ ಈಸ್ ಡಿಪೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಅಪಾನ್ ಮೈ ಟೈಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೈ ಸೀಸನ್ ಒನ್ ಮೊಮೆಂಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಟೂ ಟಾಲ್ ನನ್ನ ಮೂಡ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ನನ್ನ ಟೈಮ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಒಂದು ಕ್ಷಣ ನನಗೆ ನೀನು ಯು ಸಿ ಅಪಿಯರ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಟೂ ಟಾಲ್ ಅನದರ್ ಮೊಮೆಂಟ್ ಯು ಯು ಆರ್ ಟೂ ಡೂ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಯೂಸ್ಲೆಸ್ ಫೆಲೋ ಅನಿಸುತ್ತೆ ಅನದರ್ ಟೂ ಮೆಲಾಂಕಲಿ ಇನ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಮೊಮೆಂಟಲ್ಲಿ ಐ ಫೀಲ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ವೆರಿ ಮೆಲಾಂಕಲಿ ಅನದರ್ ಟೂ ಡಾರ್ಕ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಮೊಮೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ನೊಂದ್ಸರಿ ಯು ಟೂ ಡಾರ್ಕ್ ಅನಿಸುತ್ತೆ ಅನದರ್ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ನೋ ವಾಟ್ ಇನ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಮೊಮೆಂಟ್ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ದ ಹೋಲ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಟು ಮಿ ಬಟ್ ಐ ಕಮ್ ಟು ನೋ ಐ ಫೀಲ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ದ ಹೋಲ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಟು ಮಿ ನೀನೇ ನನ್ನ ಪ್ರಪಂಚ ಅಂತ ನನಗೆ ಅನಿಸೋದೇ ಇಲ್ಲ ದಟ್ ಯು ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಮೈ ಡಿಯರ್ ಮುಂಚೆ ಐ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಫೀಲ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ವರ್ ಮೈ ಓಲ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಅಂತ ನಾವು ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಗೆಟ್ ದಟ್ ಫೀಲಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಮೈ ಹೋಲ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಬಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಎ ಪ್ಲೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಲೇಡಿ ಟು ನೋ ಬಟ್ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ನಾಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ಅ ಗಿವ್ ಅಪ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಪ್ಲೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಎ ಪ್ಲೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಲೇಡಿ ಟು ನೋ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನೈಸ್ ಟು ಮೀಟ್ ನಿನ್ನ ಭೇಟಿ ಮಾಡೋ ಖುಷಿ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ಡೇರ್ ಸೇ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಸ್ವೀಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಎವರ್ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಸ್ವೀಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಎವರ್ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ
while you say that such strange thoughts come to him time to time yes these strange thoughts come to me also time to time and they come to him that moment he knows that she hates the heat as much as ever yes he agrees with her yes nin helid nangu ansutte and at that moment also such thoughts came to his mind because he hates the heat like her she murmurs deeply it's my cross my shame and will be my death yes ninu hate martello hit na andaka yes it's my cross my shame my death and held down i a quote and unquote he says that he also abhors it too and asks her if she will go with him to america yes i also abhor it nangu hit kandra agala so dislike it abhor it so shall we go to america will you come with me because it's impossible to do well in egden unless one is a wild bird or a landscape painter egden is a place suitable only for those bird watchers or a wild bird or a landscape painters not to people like us who want to enjoy life tell she tells him to give her time and america is so far away nanage salpa samaya kodu america thumba dura ide anthe heltale she the little man cannot hear them further as they move forward little man hears them till this point he cannot hear because they move forward uh, he cannot hear further because they move forward he walks across the wheel and reaches van thinking of meeting stacia why at the same time he, he comes back to his van but at the same time he thinks of meeting stacia why and to eradicate that obstacle from the way of the ma- on the way of marriage of thomasin and wildy i think you have understood this the explanation of this chapter if you have any doubt or query push in the comment box take it bye